We have two purposes in life. The first, as I call it, is to realize abundance. So to let go and re-own yourself. And then from there, you have a second purpose, because you're still alive and you're still in this world, and that is to act from inspiration and take action in this world. Okay? And then that will manifest in various ways, depending on who you are. Um, some other ways you could think about this for now is, um, what's the thing, I like this expression, so I'll use it, what's the thing in life that really tickles your balls, that turns you on? The thing where it doesn't matter how much money you make, it doesn't matter if you ever succeed, it's the time where you felt the most alive. If you died now, what was the thing you did alive while you were alive that turned you on the most? You know, and, and it, might, it might not be something you've done for like years. Maybe the past 10, 20 fucking years you've been dead inside. And all you can remember is the moment during your childhood. What was that? Rekindle that. If that's, like, it's crazy. If that was the moment you felt the most alive during your childhood, what have you been doing the past 10, 20 years? You're fucking up. You're, you're dead inside. Like, what's life? Is that life if you felt the most alive only as a kid? No? If that's your realization here, switch shit up big time nowadays. Don't keep doing what you're doing. Go back to doing what you were as a kid. If that's what made you happy, if you died right now and your happiest moments were as a kid, change something. For real. Otherwise, it's all downhill. And it's scary, but it's like kind of reflect like, okay, it's scary. It might go against the, the opinions of other people and shit. But at the same time, it's like, your life's yours. You're going to die. Milk the experience that is being alive. You don't have forever. We think we do. I'll do it someday. There is, what if there is no someday? It's not a guarantee. That's the other thing. It's like, I love this, um, this saying because it's so true. It's like, what would you do if you had a disease right now that will kill you? Um, it could kill you, like say you go to the doctor. It's like, sir, what's your name? Nikita. Nikita, you have cancer. I'm sorry to tell you you have cancer. We can't heal you. Um, but we can't give you a definitive timeline. You might die tomorrow. You might die in 40 years. You might die in 50 years. But you do have cancer and you will die. Would your perception change? If the answer is yes, then realize this. You all have cancer right now. It's called being alive. It's going to kill you. Being alive is going to kill you. Being alive, no one survives being alive. You all die. We fight so hard to survive. None of us survive. You can't survive. You're going to die. From that perspective, and knowing that when you die, it's like, that's your life. It's you. It's your responsibility. Like, how are you going to live it? So when you die, you're like, fuck yeah. You know? I lived life my way. I lived life, you know, on my terms. I lived a life that... I milk this experience of being alive, whatever that is to you, whatever that means to you. How would you do it then? Versus, I wasted this chance, I wasted this opportunity, I should have done more, I should have gave myself permission to do this, to feel this, to think this.